Hello everyone, this is Clover and welcome back to my channel. We're back in my Lolita wardrobe today because today I will be presenting my head accessories. So yeah, it's another wardrobe tour. Yay! So we'll be starting over here with this custom floral headpiece that I got from my friend. Um, their Etsy shop is called Sunshine Loli, and they do a bunch of headdresses, jewelry, dresses, things like that. The next thing we have is this pink bonnet with roses on it. I got it from Lace Market from somebody who had made them, or made this themselves. And so, yeah, I don't remember the name of the person, and I've yet to cord it because it's a very specific shade of pink. It doesn't really match anything in my wardrobe. It might be able to match this, but it'd be a stretch. <laughs> Underneath of that is another bonnet. This one is from Enchantic Enchantilly, I think is how you say it. And it's just this really cool black and white diamond pattern with black rose lace at the top and along the part that goes on your head. So really good for gothic coordinates, Alice in Wonderland type inspired stuff, which you know I'm all about. Next we have berets. This is one that I found on Depop. From somebody who made it themselves. It's knit. It's very cute. Um, can be used for Fairy K as well. This one I got from eBay. I know you're not supposed to buy Lolita on there, but whatever. <laughs> this one I also got from Lace Market. I'm not sure if it's from a brand or not, but also good for Alice in Wonderland cords. This one is from Les Petites Miao. Um, I think that's how you say it. It's just this really cute, like, plaid or tartan um, beret with a cute bow. Really good for Christmas, and it's shiny. And underneath that is another Les Petites Miao, only this one is more gothic, has like a lace spiderweb effect and a zipper, which I don't think is actually functional. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for that side. Um, sorry, these dresses I just have hanging here because I'm testing out some coordinate stuff. <laughs> um, I like to like hang it up and see how everything works together. Anyways, so over here, I'm not going to go through everything one by one because this is just a bunch of generic um, hair bows and stuff. There's a couple from Etsy, there's a couple from Hot Topic, Claire's, even the dollar store. You can find basic hair bows like anywhere. Um, these were actually... Um, a free bonus with a double inspired order, which you will be seeing a video for soon. These also came as a bonus with the free order. Um, oh yeah, and this one I also got from Lace Market. Um, I'm pretty sure it's from like a Taobao store or something because I see pretty much every Sweet Lolita with that. Um, these are detachable bows, not meant for your head. They are for my dinosaur dress that I showed off in my um, wardrobe video where I showed off all the dresses and stuff. So, we are moving down now. Okay, next is more floral headdresses. Um animal ear headdresses and things like that. This is actually a belt for um, my metamorphose dress. So yeah, let's go through this. This I got from Claire's. This I got from eBay. This I got from 
lace market, I think. This I got from Claire's. This I also got from my friend's shop. This I also got from my friend's shop. Seriously, they make really good, um, like, floral and, um, I guess, like, berries and leaves and stuff headdresses. So, highly recommend. Look at this, little candy corns for Halloween. Anyways, getting off topic. Um, this one I got for free at a swap meet. There was just like a table off to the side where people could throw stuff for someone to pick up for free if they didn't want it anymore. So that's where I got that. And this I also got from Claire's, I think. Um, back when I first got into Lolita, floral like headbands and stuff were really in style. So that's why I got all of those. Um, these are also detachable bows, but I suppose you could turn them into a headdress if you um, attached it to a headband. These are just some like really casual daily wear type headbands. So I got these two from Lace Market and this one, I don't remember where I got it actually. This I got from Etsy a couple years ago. It's rainbow pom-pom headband. I actually got it for Fairy K, but um, I think it would work with some OTT Sweet Lolita. I just have to experiment a little bit. This I got from Lace Market, but I believe it's originally from a Taobao brand. Um, it came as part of like a set that I bought from somebody. This is also from Taobao, I believe. Another lace market find, and it is super cute. It's got these little bear ears and little teddy bears, and I bought it to go with like a Christmas coordinate because something about the dark red ribbons and the little teddy bears gives me Christmas vibes. <laughs> and then continuing with the bear ears, we have this really super sweet um, bear ear headdress from Taobao. I really love the details on that. This was a free bonus with a Tao or Taobao, um, a devil inspired order. Um, it's the same order I was talking about before. It's just kind of basic. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with it yet because it looks more classic sweet, but we shall see. Moving on from there, we have the bunny ear headdresses. So this one is one of my favorites. It is an Alice in Wonderland themed bunny ear headdress. You can pose the ears as you can see. Um, of course, for storage, I like to have them out so it can lay flat. But yeah, and this is from Taobao. I went through a shopping service that charged me way more than they should have. So I will not be using that shopping service again. But I'm really happy with how the headband looks and it matched perfectly with the dress that I bought it for. So can't complain there. Moving on, this next one is just, I think, like... Easter bunny ears from like the dollar store or something. I don't know. It also came off that free table um, at the swap meet. And same thing with these ears underneath. They're just kind of basic. Although I love how fluffy this pair is. So I could see it being useful for something. And then underneath that is just another super sweet Taobao bunny ear set. I wore this um, for my birthday, like, was it two years ago? What even is time anymore? <laughs> um, so yeah, I also have another one like this one um, in pink, and it's got like little rainbow charms on it and stuff, but um, it kind of broke when we moved and I've yet to fix it because I'm lazy. Oh yeah, I almost forgot these. 
These are just little um, bat whoop. <laughs> really hard to film this one handed. Um, little bat like hair clips, just something bittersweet. Um, kind of good for like a chromey coordinate if you're doing a character inspired cord. So yeah. And last but not least, we have the head bows. Oh goodness, what order should I go in? They're organized by color, so uh, that helps a little bit, I guess. Um, I guess we'll start with like the rectangle headdresses, although they're not really rectangle, they're kind of rounded on the ends. This one I got from Lace Market. I believe the person made it themselves. It's just a basic white headdress. Ooh, we have the brand tag, I guess. So cool. But I bought it because the lace has little bunnies and flowers on it. I thought I could use that for some sweet cords. This headdress matches one of the dresses that I have. I don't remember if I had it in the wardrobe video, but here it is. So yeah, and the lace has little candies and hearts and stuff. And then the next one I have yet to wear, but it was another lace market find. I believe this is a headdress from Taobao maybe, or maybe it's Baby. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's a tag on the inside somewhere, but I haven't taken it out of the package yet, obviously. But it has a flower and a little apple on it, so I bought it to go with some of my Snow White cords. And then this one, I swear it's different from the white headdress. This one is ivory, okay? It's important for me to have both. And also the lace on this one is floral and no bunnies. So it's more like classic sweet, whereas this one is sweet sweet. It's different, I swear. <laughs> Same thing here, even though it's red, it's different, okay? And this one I actually got as a set when I bought a skirt from a friend of mine. Um, and I still need to fix that skirt, which is why I haven't worn it yet. So if you're watching, that's why. <laughs> but um, I do really like this headdress. It gives me like old school vibes and I can wear it with a bunch of stuff. And same thing with this old school vibes, but black and white rather than red and white. Okay. Hard part is putting everything back in. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh yeah. Is this one next? And then that one. Okay. And this headdress goes with this dress over here. If I can grab it. This one. Yep. And I have worn this one. This um, I bought from that same friend. Um, so the headdress and dress came as a set. And it's really cute. I love this kind of dusty blue color with the pastel baby pink. It's super cute. This is the matching hair clip to my Metamorphose Lemonade dress, which I will be wearing soon, so keep an eye out for that if you follow me on Instagram. Underneath that is this super cute earmuff, like head bow <laughs> kind of hybrid um, that I bought off of Lace Market. I think they made it themselves, but it's really cozy and cute for the winter time. And still has a Lolita flair to it because of the bow. And then it's got these really cute pom-poms on the end of the ties. So it ties under your chin like a headdress does. So yeah, really like that. 
And then we have just a basic headband from Baby the Starshine Bright. Really good for Alice in Wonderland themed coordinates. Very casual, very cute. Next thing is the matching head bow for that dinosaur dress. That's really the only like standout <laughs> in my wardrobe that um, doesn't really go with anything else, but I love it anyways. And then next is the detachable bow for Bodyline Squirrel Party. I keep all of the detachable bows in here because sometimes I use them as head bows. So here's the detachable bow for Bodyline's Balloon Bear. Here is the bow for Baby the Starshine Bright. Oh god, long name. Um, my friend... Kumya Chan Judy JSK, I think is the name of it. Um, this one, I think, is this Angelic Pretty? Can I find a tag? Ah, there it is. It's Angelic Pretty. Haven't worn it yet. Um, I bought it for a specific dress that's actually from Baby. But I think this will also match with Wonder Party. So I'm gonna see if I can do something there. Um, this is a detachable bow for a Dear Celine blouse that I own. Um, it's still on the headband that I use for the detachable bows. Next is a head bow from well, I bought it from Lace Market, but I think it's actually from Taobao. Um, I have this in Saks as well. You'll see that coming up. And then an angelic pretty head bow with some heart-shaped lace. Very cute. And then the de bleh 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 bleh, detachable bow for um, Bodyline's carousel print. So those are all the pinks and greens, and one yellow. By the way, organizing them by color has actually been a lifesaver, so definitely recommend doing that if you haven't already. This is an angelic pretty head bow. It's got pearls and feathers and there's the bow there. Bought that to go with a skirt from Baby. I like mixing my brands, what can I say? <laughs> but um, the skirt is like Swan Lake themed, so I thought a head bow with feathers would be good for that. Then I have this purple head bow that I got from Lace Market, but it could be from Taobao. It is a very unique color that matches the bow on Angelic Pretty's Fairy Season JSK perfectly because that purple is so hard to match. So I bought this specifically for that. This is the matching head bow for Kawaii Holics Devil's Cherry OP that I showed off in my wardrobe tour. This is the matching head bow for one of the dresses that I'm going to show in my upcoming Devil Inspired haul. Same with this one because I got the same dress in two colorways because it was super cute and I just couldn't pick between the two colors. This is the matching head bow for Angelic Pretty's Jewel Marine. I don't really like this head bow very much because it lays down flat on the head. So that kind of stinks, but otherwise it's really pretty. Next is another angelic pretty head bow. Um, I don't remember the name of this one. Um, oh gosh, like heart jewelry or heart charm. I don't know, because the name has something to do with this this little heart charm here. 
that's all I know. Um, but I really like the color. It's this really, really soft, soft baby blue. And I really like the pink heart charm. It's just really cute. It doesn't go with a lot because the color is very unique, but the uniqueness is what I like about it. And then next is the matching head bow for Precious Clove. Um, letter to my lover or something like that. I don't remember the name. I'm sorry. I prioritize the names of brand prints in my mind. I'm so sorry. I remember Precious Clove singing in the rain, but I don't own that dress. Um, anyways, um, this is the Saks colorway of that same Taobao head bow that I showed you before. And then next, oh, this is backwards, my bad, um, is just this really old school sex head bow. Um, I don't think it's from any kind of brand. It's just like a bow attached to a headband. Um, I bought it from Lace Market, so that's all I really know about it. <laughs> Sorry. I wish I could tell you more, but um, it's really come in handy for a couple coordinates actually, because um, it's the perfect shade of sax, and since it's really basic, like it's very versatile, so definitely get a couple basic pieces in your wardrobes. Very, very good. This is the very first head bow I ever bought and you can tell that it's from eBay because it is really low quality like the lace is super stiff and it's just gigantic and not great oh and this lace is really cheap quality too so I haven't worn it in a couple years but given that I don't have any other basic white head bow. It's just kind of living in here. So, ugh. I have this ivory one though, so that's cool. And I really like the checkerboard design to it. Um, gives me Alice in Wonderland vibes. Unfortunately on camera it's coming off a little bit yellow, but I promise it's not like that in person. It's definitely ivory. Um, so yeah, definitely going to use that more um, with my Alice coordinates. The next head bow is the matching head bow for Lady Sloth's Spooky Macarons JSK that I own. Um, I got the head bow at the same time I got the dress. This one... Ah! Stuck. There we go. Um, it's just a basic black head bow from Baby the Starshine Bright. I really like it because it's small enough that it can be used for sweet and classic and gothic like it's really versatile i like it um and i like that it's kind of a side head bow rather than just straight on your head so that's pretty cool the next one if i can get it untangled here and this one, is this from Baby or AP? Hang on. Oh, okay, it's AP. Um, yep, just a, another angelic pretty head bow with black and white lace. Well, black and ivory, I guess. Um, another good piece for old school. And this one, I believe this is from Anna House. And this one is black and white. Another good piece for old school. <laughs> With all of the old school head pieces I have, you would think I would have more old school main pieces, but that's just life. <laughs> okay, next is just the two detachable bows from, ooh, I gotta fix that. There we go. Just the two detachable bows from Bodyline's carousel print in black, because I own it in black and yellow. All right, I'll I'll fix I'll fix the drawer off camera. 
so yeah that is my tour of hair accessories um, that went on way longer than I thought. I guess I have more hair accessories than I originally thought, but since hair accessories are kind of needed for Lolita, it's good to have a wide variety of them for different cords. Um, just changing up the headpiece can really change the vibe of a cord knit. Same with blouses, but we'll get to that in another video. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I hope you'll join me in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Bye!